Jimmy Maines is a former University of Kentucky entomology doctoral student. He was putting out traps in secluded bushy areas to attract and catch the Asian tiger mosquito, which has invaded the U.S., particularly in the southeast. So there are two basic traps that we use. Uh, we monitor both adults and eggs. Uh, the first trap for adults is known as a BG trap. Uh, this is a small white trash can looking trap. It has a small fan in it that we use to suck up adults that uh, are attracted to it. Uh, we put a small lure in it that mimics uh, compounds that our skin naturally gives off. We put these close to people's houses uh, to intercept mosquitoes coming in to feed. And we usually leave these out for about 12 hours. Uh, mosquitoes are most active twilight and early morning hours. So the other trap uh, we use to monitor eggs, it's uh, a small black cup. Uh, the Asian tiger mosquito is a container breeding mosquito. So that means that it lays its eggs in uh, any kind of container that uh, collects water. Maines is a former student yeah, in Steve Dobson's laboratory. Dobson is a professor in UK's entomology department. Dobson developed the technology to move the bacterium Wolbachia between mosquito species. Wolbachia is a naturally occurring bacterium found in the majority of insects. Traditional ways that we control mosquitoes don't work against this mosquito. We need new tools to help control the mosquito. And the bacterium causes a form of sterility uh, and it's found in almost all insects. A majority of insects carry this bacterium naturally and so it's just a new way to try to control mosquito populations. The biological control calls for researchers to release male mosquitoes infected with bacteria in a targeted area. Unlike their female counterparts, male mosquitoes do not bite or transmit disease. The males mate with females, which renders the females sterile. So this approval that we now have from the Environmental Protection Agency is unprecedented, not just in Kentucky, but throughout the nation. Uh, in fact, even globally. So we're really starting something new. It's actually quite exciting to see a technology that was invented and developed here at the University of Kentucky, seeing that now carried forward to actually controlling mosquitoes in the field. The technology is being tested by Mosquito Mate a small startup company in Lexington led by Maines. But Dobson warns while the biological control method may help cut down on the number of insecticide applications, it won't replace insecticides. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.